Hey, this is Crystal and Jay, and this is uh, how to do Chroma Key in Curl Video Studio Pro, which I have never done. Um, I've done it in tons of other software that I've tested, and so I actually purchased this one, and I kind of don't have any idea what I'm doing, but um, I figured it out. I just got to get uh, tweak it a little bit, and um, on my other tutorial videos on YouTube, I have like 50 people I have an answer that have asked me if I know how to do it in this software. So since I bought it, I thought I'd go ahead and do this. And then when I perfect it, I'll probably do it again. But um, the stuff that needs to be tweaked is something that is just going to depend on your lighting, basically, and everything. So anyway, um, Open Corel Video Studio Pro. And I use, uh, I'm using 5. I think it's the newest version. And um, you want to go to Edit. Make sure it's on Edit. And it'll bring up this. Um, and if you're really new to Corel Video Studio and you're trying to do Chroma Key right off the bat, you might want to just learn a little bit more about all the other things because I don't really have time to do that necessarily. So anyway, um, what you want, of course, just for my, my example here, I'm going to have um, my main video track and just one overlay track, just one. And in case you don't, in case you're like, how do I get more than one overlay track? I want to have like five videos of myself or something. That's something people can never figure out. Click um, on inside the track and go to Track Manager, Video Track. You're going to have one. Your overlay tracks, this is how many overlay videos you want, and you can have as many as you want. And there you go. So, anyway. So the first thing you want is um, your background video that you want to chroma key yourself onto. So I already have these uh, in my library, um, but you're, you know, you, whatever. If you can't figure out how to go to your file and get them, I don't know how to tell you to do that either. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, this is my background video. And what this is, um, I, may, I actually made this in Sony Vegas, so it's pretty cool. It's just basically um, like the universe, like if you're going through the universe. This was actually pretty easy to make, this in rain in Sony Vega, but that's another tutorial. Anyway, um, if you want these kind of videos for your background, you can go on YouTube and just type in like free chroma key background footage, star, whatever. There's so much free stuff there. You don't have to make it yourself if you don't want. So there's my background video. So now I want my video of me, but I want a chroma key somewhere. So I already, you know, did that. And don't laugh, I'm being a dork. So anyway, so there I am. <clears throat> and um, if you want to click on the video you're editing, and you want to go to options, mask and chroma key. And I've only did this like once. In fact, I've not really done it. I'm kind of figuring it out too. So you want to make sure apply overlay options is checked, of course. And then here's your little color dropper thing. So um, my lighting is not perfect, and you can see my shadow, and you can see it's darker here and lighter there. That's something that um, you're just going to have to tweak with, and I'm going to do to make it. It's all got to be the same color. It's all got to be the same um, lighting, or it's you're going to be able to see. You know, it's just it's that's it's just kind of a thing I'm working on. So um, you can click around different parts of it and possibly find like the best like for now what you, but what you'd normally if you had a perfect lighted situation which good luck with that when you're doing it at home um, doo -doo -doo. Eh. 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 <laughs> That's, uh, I've seen worse. Let's see. That's not too bad. So anyway, there you go. So you see what, what happens when you have a perfectly um, evenly lighted background. And just so you know about the background, I prefer, um, I just took a, a piece of, of Kermit Green Felt from a fabric store and hung it on the back of my wall. And then it's got to be evenly lighted, and you just kind of go from there. It's got to be a color that is not found in the human skin 
in any form. So usually it's got to be black, white, or green. And green um, seems to work best, actually. Um, so, of course, you're always going to see the bottom, especially if you're doing it the way I'm doing it. And then you click on the upper video, click on project. There we go. And then you want to move it all the way down to the bottom of the screen. So that line at the bottom doesn't show. Okie dokie. So it's not it's not too bad. But it's definitely not perfect. <laughs> Cause as you can see there's still some stuff there, but I'm going to work on that a little bit. Anyway, well, that's basically how you do it in Curl Video Studio. I mean, um, the software is completely simple. It's just um, getting the, the setting and the lighting correct. Anyway, um, oh, and there's a picture of what I did for my green screen. It's really not that hard. Um, this is before I had my lighting. So that's what I did right there. And um, I've got several lights going on and trying to trying to kind of fix that, so... Have a good one.